How do you create custom proposals? Welcome to You Asked, our short form podcast where we answer your questions. My name is John Bunn. I'm one of the co-hosts of How to Film Weddings. And I thank you for being here for this shorter episode. Uh, Today's question is, how do you create custom proposals? Claudia Goodwin Films, thanks for sending in the message to our Instagram account. Um, She asked that question about creating custom proposals and goes on to say, I've always had a package-based system, but planners are recommending I change to custom proposals. That terrifies me, but I'm feeling motivated and ready to try it. How would you turn your package system into custom proposals? Any advice would be super helpful. Um, Great question. And what she's talking about is we've talked a little bit on the podcast about customizing proposals for each client specifically. We have some pricing guides in our shop, some PDFs that you can create and export out custom proposals. Um, And then we also use things uh, like Sam Jacobson offers or people like that that are web-based custom proposals where it works on an iPhone, it works on a desktop, And the idea behind a custom proposal, uh, you got to look and ask yourself where you're at in your wedding business. How much time do you have for stuff like this? Is your system working? Um, Claudia, for instance, is getting up, she said, uh, in another message into the five to $9,000 range. Um, And so, uh, it's a, a different for different people. If you're brand new, custom proposals probably not what you want. And this is not an episode about whether or not you should be putting your prices on your site or um, things like that. But today we're just going to be talking about creating custom proposals from people that are already doing packages. The way that I've done it is I have downloaded a custom proposal template from Sam Jacobson at ID Action um, that I use. And I went in and it took me about an hour to really customize it to get my brand colors in it. But it's hosted on my website and it's just a page on my Show It website that says proposal template and it's hidden. But I can duplicate that and create a custom proposal after every single meeting that I have with a couple. Why would I want a custom proposal? Um, Because it does add an extra touch of customization and personalization. These proposals have paragraphs where you can change things out based on the details of what you uh, have in your packages, what your conversation was, different things like that. And it's just visually appealing where things kind of fade up on the screen. There's spot for videos and photos and testimonials. And it just looks really good as opposed to something I hate, the honey book, honey book templates. Uh, I hate the way that those look and I'm not trying to cause you to, to be angry at me, but just the proposals, there's too many options. It's too... Uh, I just don't love it at all. It's it's a good idea, but it just, I don't love it. So these custom proposals, what I do is now I have a hidden page on my site that's like my template. And then I go from there and I copy and paste it and rename it to the name of the couple after I talk with them. And it has base packages. It's a three package system still, but it has a base, an upgrade, and then like an all-inclusive package. Um, And I have those set and those prices set already, but I customize it based on what the couple has told me is important. For example, what if they're doing two days instead of one day? What if they're doing one day instead of two days or a three day thing? Or what if the raw footage is really important to them, but it's not in every one of your packages? And uh, Or maybe they don't care about two shooters, whatever it is, you can customize it based on your conversation and still use the psychology of a three package system, which we highly recommend. Um, And so having the customization is, it'll look like I do the phone call and then I customize my template based on what the call was. And I make the most expensive package show up first and then the middle package and then the the cheapest package. And my goal with those three packages is have the top package be the anchor, the most expensive kind of out there and more than maybe they even asked for. And that kind of anchors the buyer to say, whoa, that might be a little too expensive. Let me look and see what this second package is. And then they see the second package has everything you talked about that they needed. And it's the price, uh, a better price than the top package. And then they see the bottom package feeling like, oh, that's cheaper, but it doesn't have everything I want. And psychologically, they're drawn towards the middle package. And so 
you've got to kind of figure out your pricing, what you want to include. Uh, I recommend having uh, your prices kind of figured out via spreadsheet, um, what each value is worth, what is an extra hour of coverage cost, what is a raw footage hard drive cost, what is a ceremony edit cost. So you can build three packages just like you have before, but then knowing what to swap in and out to customize it for them. And so how do I create a custom proposal? I do a meeting and then I, I'm taking a ton of notes and then I'm changing my three packages to fit within their specific wedding weekend, what they need. Um, I've at that point usually gotten their budget and what they're looking for to spend. And then I can build packages based on those things. And so that is my basics on how I create custom proposals. If you're not going to be using a template like I purchased from Sam, you can also just create something on your website that's uh, custom. You can use one of our PDFs that we have at the howtofilmweddings.com slash shop is a good spot. But you can basically change those out after every couple that you meet with. Um, it took me a while to get the template set up. And then it takes me about 15 to 20 minutes or so to change out each proposal. Uh, you know, it has a spot to change for the name of the couple and some images and different things. And um, so it takes me 15 or 20 minutes maybe to put together a proposal um, after the couple, but that goes a long way. There's a paragraph where I can write notes and say, you know, it was great that you mentioned this about your wedding. I think that this would be great. And then it also at the end has three spots for videos for me to embed Vimeo videos into their proposal based on the conversation we had. So I just booked a wedding for next year, $17,000 plus dollar wedding, and the couple is doing a big Sperry tinted wedding. And so the three films that I put in the proposal all had like outdoor tinted weddings, and I was able to customize it so they could see more. Um, and it gives them next steps. It has images of me on it. It's just a very custom proposal, but it's a template that I customize every single time. So Claudia, I hope that helps. Um, if you need help with anything else, be sure uh, just to shoot us a message. Uh, before I head out today, I was going to say our mastermind group is, is opens in January, um, late January. And um, we go in depth on things like this. We show you how to build proposals. We go through a three package system and why we think that's a great fit um, for most wedding filmmakers. And we can meet you where you're at and help you figure out if this is something that you would want to do for your business or if it's not quite time yet. So um, if you haven't checked it out, howtofilmweddings.com slash mastermind is the place to check that out. Thank you so much for tuning in. Again, thank you, Claudia, for being a, um, a follower over on Instagram. Hopefully this helps. And until next time, we'll see you.